Okay, so let's take a look at how we could approach uh, doing question number four here and determine what <clears throat> which of the, the trig uh, laws um, that we know about which we would use. Okay, so at, to this point here, we've uh, discussed two trig law, or laws in this unit. One is the cosine law and one is the sine law. And one of the things you need to understand is when do you use which one in order to set this up. So the question here we have is in triangle TUV, okay, three points, determine the measure of angle U to the nearest degree. So we're gonna mark this angle right here. Okay, and then when we mark it, we, we're, we're asked to find the, the unknown measure of this. So we have to look at what is how the angle is positioned um, with respect to other things that we know about this triangle. So the first thing you know, you notice here is this, this um, angle is in between, okay, two legs of known values here, okay, the eight and the three, and it's directly opposite to another known value here, which is 10. So this should be an, an indication, especially the first part of whether you would use the sine law or the cosine law. Okay, so the rule is that if you are asked to, if you have an angle where you have a, a known angle or either an unknown angle, but it is got two measurements um, coming essentially adjacent to it. So in this case, the three and the eight, um, this is where we would use the cosine law in order to figure out that unknown angle. So if we remember what the cosine law would be, it's if we were to label um, label this triangle here, okay, so the side opposite the angle is side TV, okay, so TV squared, I'm just going to use that as a symbol, is equal to um, the sum, okay, of the first leg here, which is um, UV squared plus UT squared minus um, two times uh, each of those those sides, so it'll be U V and T U times. I'm gonna squeeze this in here. Cosine um, U. Okay, so we could just use simple letters to to write those out, but th that's what where we would end up solving for here in in the cosine law. So what we're asked to actually find here is we need to isolate U cosine U and then figure out what the value is for angle U. Okay, so if we plug in our numbers here, we know TV here is 10 squared, UV is 8 squared, UT is 3 squared. So remember, we're summing the squares and then we're subtracting two times each of the legs. So it's going to be 8 and 3. And then our unknown here is cosine U. Okay, so we just have to isolate this. So this is involves rearranging the equation a little bit, so I'm just gonna bring it over to the side here. So the first thing we gotta do is we have to subtract the eight squared and the three squared. So what I would do is um, we're gonna do 10 squared minus eight squared minus three squared is equal to negative two times eight times three cosine u. Okay, and then we have to divide by the value in front of cosine u, okay, so we're not going to evaluate the expression yet, but this is going to cancel. We're going to divide those two out, and then that means we have to put this underneath like that. Okay, so this is going to give us, when we isolate this, cosine u is equal to whatever this expression works out to when you work it out in your calculator. Okay, and this just so happens that it's going to be equal to negative 0 0.5625. And whenever you're doing these trig questions, just carry them to four decimal spots um, because that's usually what the original um, trig questions um, or trig tables are, are built around. So that's cosine u, but that's not the angle u. So in order to figure out angle u, you have to take the inverse cosine function, which on your calculator is the second function. So it's like second function in the cos key, co uh, the cos key on your calculator. So this is going to give you angle u is equal to, so we're going to do inverse cosine, that's cosine to the minus one of negative 0.5625. Okay, and then when you work that on your calculator, 
Um, and you do have to remember your calculator has to be in degrees. Okay, so there's a couple other measurements usually, so you want to make sure it's setting in the degree mode. You will see that this is the angle of 124 degrees. Okay, so angle U would be equal to 124. Okay, so that's a 